Hello everyone. This video I'm be going over uh, farming water fleas. They are located in the southeastern flooded zone and the deeper pockets of water around what I call Toad Island. There's a little statue of a toad right there. His uh, rash is the name of the actual landmark. I have a, my own marker there. I do have a base right here. This base is for when I want to do clay farming, go into the hedges and get berries, or like in this video, go after water fleas. I've emptied out my inventory as much as possible. I doubt I'll fill it. I might get about 13 water fleas, but I definitely brought a spear and one piece of quartzite to repair it since I have plenty of quartzite to go around. If you don't have plenty of quartzite, bring two spears. One breaks, throw it away, get it, bring out the second one. I have a little bridge built out to the island. If you don't have that, you just swim. But that's what you're looking for right there. The little water fleas. They are necessary for making the liquid gills smoothie. And you just start stabbing away. As soon as I kill this one and get to the surface, I'm going to take a look at my mutations. I may have to adjust one. So what I'm going to do is, I don't need that. Coup de Gras does actually help. So there are several pockets of deep water around that island in the center where Rash is, the toad. Or frog, depending on, I don't know exactly what it is. But, now you just keep poking away. It would be nice if we had a tier 2 spear, just to kind of speed things up when it comes time to kill them. But I see I have two there, and I have one down there as well. So, I'm just going to keep going. I know there's still two in the area. There's one right there. So, I'm going to just drop down and get them. That's both of them. At some point, I may stop what I'm doing because I'm going to, like, get my thumbnail picture. Let me try not to drown. I would recommend doing this when the sun is high in the sky so you have plenty of light to see down into the water because if not, it does get very dark down here. And I love how gnats fly underwater. I would, I'm would i not sure how that's uh, a thing, but it is. I'm just kind of stalking these two. I'm trying to get in a, a decent picture. <laughs> so you see there is still some clay in the deep parts of the water for me. For the most part, it has stopped respawning and unless it's up on the land. I will have a video for that as well. But if you try to do this very early in the morning, like right after you wake up from sleeping or at night before, like right before you go to sleep in the late, late afternoon, you're going to have a really hard time uh, seeing in the water because it gets very dark very fast. I love how these guys can swim through the grass. Let me back to the surface before I drown. You know, you don't actually drown. You, tar you start taking damage until you can get back up to the surface. I'm just kind of watching him for a second. See if he turns around and comes back this way. They do swim in a really weird pattern. Not a huge fan of that, but... Always helps to make sure that there's nothing above you when you're about to drown. So, I just keep stabbing away. There's one or two more in this direction. If you're on mouse and keyboard, you don't have to look up to surface. Just hold the uh, space bar. I thought I'd be able to swim while surfacing and looking down. But you can see how dark it is. The sun is not quite up in the sky because in-game it's not even 10 a.m. yet. I mean, it's, it's up there, but it's not, you know, noon straight down into the water. So the angle of the sun does determine how bright it is underwater. That's why I suggest doing this at midday. Now, the water fleas hang out in the deep pockets of water. So, this is one area where I was at. <clears throat> you see the can, so you're going to be behind the can. There's a deep pocket in front of the can. I'm just double checking. Yep, you see there's movement in the far off part of my screen. And wait, see if he turns back this way. 
I don't want to drown. I am trying, still trying to get that screenshot. So. They're camera shy. It's all right. So with coup de gras, which you saw, I switched to that. You have chance for bonus damage, which means you're killing them a lot quicker under the water. Let me hurt my surface before I start losing health. So it seems like they've increased the number of water fleas in the in the flooded zone. Yeah, I've only I haven't really left this one deep pocket and I've got nine already. It used to be thirteen was about as many as I could get. In all there's three like main deep pockets of water. So you swim around. If the water isn't too deep, you're gonna probably not find any water fleas there. So we're gonna transition from the deep pocket on the that is behind the can. So if you found this can, there's a deep pocket behind it. Going in front of the can, I guess it would help if I, if I actually surfaced. That's what happens when you don't surface. You uh, start taking damage until you die. And then in front of the can, there's another, oh my god, deep pocket <laughs> with lots of water fleas. Now, we don't need uh, liquid gills just yet. But water fleas are essential to make that smoothie, and I recommend having as many as possible when it comes time for the pond update. That way you can explore the bottom of the pond and not have to worry about drowning. I have a video on that as well. I will actually put a link to that video in the uh, in the description of this video. So it, it will show you me killing just one of these guys, as well as making the liquid gills, and then swimming from one end of the pond to the other end along the bottom without ever surfacing and not and I don't drown. So. Yeah, see 13 was always my max. What am I under? Oh crap. So you got to be careful of that. The leaves can stop you from getting all the way up to the surface and getting air. Now, if I had a liquid gill smoothie with me, which would be kind of a waste since I'm killing these to make make liquid gills. I could stay down here a good bit longer and uh, keep stabbing. When the bees come and we get the tier two spear, which requires bee parts, uh, the stinger and the fuzz, this would probably go a lot faster. Actually, it will because I've seen it. The thing makes the thing has a higher damage stat. So, and I did bring the one piece of quartzite because this spear, it being a tier one, it's taking damage pretty quick. As you see, it's already. Three quarters of the way broken. I'm glad I did because I did not realize that there was this many water fleas down here. So I will I will tell you, show you where I'm at on the map. I'll also include Nope, never mind. Change your mind. I'm not gonna include anything. So that guy got hit with a couple of coup de gras shots. That's why he died so quickly. I have 18 of them right now, and this is going to be 19. I've never killed this many before in one go. So, just kind of kind of watching the edges of the blurry part of the vision for any kind of movement. Now, let me surface real quick so I don't drown while I show you this. So there's the can. This is the deep pocket I'm in here. The first deep pocket of water is back here. The second one is here, and you see this is where the ra Rash the Frog is, and there's one more deep pocket of water right over here. Now you might find one or two uh, <clears throat> in certain areas, but the main concentrations are in those are in these three pockets of uh, deep water. And every so often you might find one, you know, flying somewhere, literally. So like you get the random one, and he's in kind of shallow water for a water flea.
So that's 20. I'm just going to give this a quick uh, check. But I think that's a little too shallow. Yep. Get a little something to drink. Now we'll head to the third area where I have consistently found them. As you can see, I am right next to... I'll just kind of make the land. There's the frog uh, figurine. So frog figurine, and this is the area I'm in now. Come here. Where'd you go? Oh, the gnats uh, will come underwater and bug you. I think that is something they are working on fixing. But as you see, it gets kind of deep in this direction. So we're going to go look over here to see if we can find some more. So if you swim basically just around... Oh, look. Uh, I don't think that's supposed to happen. That is some issues that they are working on that they need to fix. Basically, in front and behind the can is going to be your two main spots for water fleas. Watch out for the larvae that are in the water, too. Mine walk on water. It's uh, annoying. I know the larvae is tracking on me. I'm just turning around to see if they're actually chasing. So, for the most part, find that can that's in the water, and I'll swim back to it here in just a second. I'm still kind of checking. Trying to make sure I didn't miss any. Oh man, that's bright. I'm just checking the time. It's 13.45 in game. I keep forgetting about coming up to the surface. With this can here, and yes, you can get on it, you're going to go to the front of the can. If you're on the can facing the jack-o'-lantern or the corner of the porch, you're going right over here to just off to your right. And if you're at the back of the can, you're literally going from the back of the can. There's the, the hedge lab is that way. There's a deep pocket right there. That's where I got all of what I just collected in this video. But if you like what you saw in this video, you want to see more, I stream every day on Twitch. My link will be in the description below. I will also include the, the link to the video on making and using liquid gill smoothies, which is what these fleas are for. But until the next video, y'all have a good one.